Roger Ton, BJ7800, coming in from Banger Disc Radio, sub £30, purchase price with my discount. Very, very cheap. If you watched the review, if you're subscribed, cheers guys. You know that we had some issues. Claims to be a CB radio FM transceiver. It did work on CB, but with some uh, issues with that. But the biggest arsake I had with the radio was the fact that the single sideband receive just didn't work. And the BFO beat frequency oscillator or clarifier, if you like, didn't work at all. Couldn't get a clean signal from the radio. And I said to you, I would look into it and I would fix it. And I have fixed it. And you would have seen that with the intro. And it's actually working very well now. The solution was a simple firmware update. But you have to be a little bit aware because I think people are bricking this radio because they're not really following good advice. One of the dubious bits of advice that's floating around the internet is, is that this radio can be flashed with the Radtel RT920 firmware. The radios do look very much the same. For my own research, I found that when people have done that, some of the main buttons on the radio are become inoperative, especially the two buttons you have to hold down, which I'll show you a little bit later, to put the radio into update mode. That is then non-functional, and then they're stuck with a defective radio. Pretty much they've bricked the radio, so do be careful. Myself, I really wanted to play it safe. I didn't want to brick the radio on the channel, so I got onto my supplier and they got onto Bajaton themselves. And Bajaton said that, yeah, you can use the Bintalk software. And they sent a link, which is the Bintalk support page. And I will put that in the description below. The Bintalk firmware, which I used version 0.10, was absolutely fine with the radio worked no problem at all. On that page also is the CPS, that is the computer programming software, very much like Chirp, where you can just type in your frequencies and you can then transfer them straight to the radio's memory to save you going through the keypad. I went a little bit further, because I had the sort of bug for it, a taste for it, and I found a, web, a Facebook page, really, really good, run by a guy called Antonio, covers the 7800 Bajeton, also the Red, Redtail RT920, and on there I found an even later version of firmware, version 0 0.13, so I thought I would try that, and once I loaded out onto the radio, there was a couple of little parameters that you have to do to get the radio to uh, respond, once I did that, the radio worked absolutely fine, and that's the firmware that I'm using at the moment. So what I'm going to do is we'll go downstairs. Don't worry if you're not computer literate. All you need is the program cable. And uh, I'll, as always, I'll take you through it very, very slowly, what I did to get the BFO and the SSB to work. Then I'll play you a little bit of a clip from the London, the London Town Net, which was this Monday. Radio working really, really well, receiving on that and then that'll be, that'll be fine. So let's go downstairs. Let me show you how you get the firmware updated. First thing you're gonna need then is just a generic two pin Kenwood style programming cable. This was a very cheap one I picked up a while ago on eBay. It worked with Boafang radios. This one doesn't need a driver to be installed on Windows, they use a prolific driver, comes with Windows 11. Now when you plug this into the computer, what you're listening for is that familiar Windows sound. There we go. Once you hear that, you know the driver is ready to use. When it comes to the radio, you can't just plug this in and switch the radio on, unfortunately. There is a couple of buttons you need to hold down. So what you need to do, you've got the second PTT button here with the orange outline and then the third button there. You need to hold these two buttons down and at the same time switch on the radio. It's a bit fiddly, but it can be done. There we go. Hopefully you can see that. So on the screen now it says update. The radio is ready to receive firmware. You can then go ahead, push in the two pin plug. Just make sure that you get it all the way in because sometimes they can catch on the top here. So make sure that you 
really give that a good hard push. There'll be no sounds and nothing will change on the screen. Okay, let's have a look at the software you're going to need to download. This is the Bintalk web page that was recommended to me. So as you look at this, you can see there are three options. For the firmware, I use the main one on the right of the radio. If you want to use the programming software to add the memories to your radio, you'll see that just below. It's called CPS. Let me just run through this in case you've not downloaded these, these types of file before. When you download this, it will download into a Windows zip file. You do need to unzip it. It won't work if you try and run it from the zip file. Also, Windows will throw up a couple of error messages. Just click more info and then run anyway. What you'll end up is the loading program as you can see here on the screen. The next thing you want to do is select the COM port that your radio is connected to. So just click their port. Mine for example was COM port 3. Just above that and below the little X you'll see that grey square. You need to click on that and now we need to locate the firmware file itself. It will be in the same place as the loading program so you can see that in my downloads file and you just need to click on that so the computer knows what file it's going to install on your radio now that version of firmware should work absolutely fine your BFO and your SSB will work now as I mentioned up in the shack I went a little bit further because I wanted to find the very latest version and I went over to this Facebook page Antonio's Facebook page it's, it's just basically Bajaton BJ 83780 if you scroll down his Facebook wall here you'll see the very latest version of the update it's, it's the same exactly the same process just that when you come to select the file you want to download onto the radio obviously you'll choose this one and not the one from the bin talk website the radio will go through its program mode you'll see it up on the screen it does take a little while you can then remove the program cable now before you do anything else you do have to perform a reset on the radio for this to work very easy just go into the menus and you're looking at option 49 and where it says reset just select all and then confirm and reset. I won't do mine because I'll lose everything. It will take it back to the factory settings. You will have the key beeps and everything, but the BFO and SSB will work. Now, because you've performed a factory reset, to get into the radio, the SSB side, you just hold down button one there. It will go into its initiation. Takes a few moments. There we go, we've now got upper sideband. To change the mode, you now go into menu, and there you go, there's your modulation, lower sideband, upper sideband, CW, FM, AM for shortwave. And that's it. To get to the BFO, which is obviously important, you just use the little star button here, step rate, bandwidth, I keep mine on 3 for SSB, the AGC, um, I keep mine, or the, no, sorry, the LNA, low noise amplifier, I keep mine on just automatic gain control, and then you've got your BFO control, once that's read, you just use the up and down buttons to tune in the BFO, I find that mine works best on about minus 400 to minus 800. There is an option in the menus if you go through it you can type in the BFO if you want to you can use the uh, keypad if you want to but as I say I just use the up and down button and that's really about it it should work um, I can't guarantee there might be some hitches with this firmware of course these this firmware's changing all the time um, I'm not a computer programmer but the one that I used on that Facebook page that worked for me and that's what you've seen on the video. Let me just um, show you a little bit more of this working. Yeah, someone's screaming their head off. Right, I've got Roger and John. Who's after John? Oh, we've got any DX stations, any continental stations. This is 26 Lima Tango, 727 London. Right, all right. 
Any any breaks for the Luma Tango net QRZ? Go again, Tom. If you heard anyone, uh, go back to them, Tom. Hello, Chris. He just doesn't know you, Chris, yet. Yeah? I mean, he's been talking to you for like a couple of months now, at least, hasn't it? And um, he talks to you as if he's never spoken to you before. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming in, mate. Yeah, OK, mate. So we got Richard out there, Tango Charlie 37. You out there, Richard? Sorry, go again, Tom. Yeah, the CQ, the CQ, uh, this is 26 Lima Tango, 727 London, call. Pretty good. I was impressed with the performance on SSB, especially on the London Town Net. I was very despondent when I first tested this radio. I ended on a bit of a rant. I've changed my opinion. I think out of the current radios that are out there, I think this one is probably one of the better buys because the price is so low. It's sub £30 on Banggood with my discount. There'll be a link in the description with my discount code if you're interested yourself. Of course, none of these radios at the moment are any good on CB. Yes, they do work on CB. Yes, you will get quite a few miles. I proved that in the review, but the harmonics are all over the place. They're transmitting on all sorts of frequencies. Um, definitely, definitely not safe to use those in the UK and say be the same in America. This particular version did come with a CB antenna as well. I mean, you can't knock the value for less than 30 pounds, but you can opt to get it with um, a couple of shortwave little loop antennas that, that do have a variable capacitor, they're tunable. They're okay, they're not the best. You will get some shortwave stations on them, um, but it's probably the better version to go for at the moment until they sort out the CB radio. So that's really about it. As I say, I've got the Bin Talk version ordered. That will be coming in. It looks very much the same, but it'll be interesting to compare the two radios. That will be coming up in the future. I hope this video was useful and helpful to you. There's a thumbs up from Fred in the Shed for your view time. If you take a second, and it literally takes a second, just give me a thumbs up down below back. I really would appreciate that, like to see that. Anyway, as always, appreciate you tuning in. Thanks for watching my videos. And of course, stay safe. Catch you on the next video. Cheers, guys. Fred's in the Shed, where the magic gun falls. Fred in the shed With his trusty CB He's a friend to the lonely On a frequency